Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I want to talk about subscription messaging. There's uh, a lot of talk about subscription messaging and message tags. And in this video, I just want to do a quick recap about the different message types. I'm not going to dive too deep into the other message types because I did quite a few videos about that already. So you might want to reference them. So we're going to dive into actual subscription messaging. What is it? What are message tags and how should you use it and how you shouldn't use it and i'm gonna make my face a little bit smaller here so here so first things first the messenger platform policy overview as you can see here there are different types of messaging there's standard messaging subscription messaging and sponsored messaging now standard messaging just a quick recap standard messaging is are all the messages that you can send within the 24-hour window so every message you send in reply to somebody sending a message to your page and the plus one message, which is a follow-up message. I call it the recovery message, but that is also part of standard messaging. Standard messages can contain any type of message. They can contain commercial messages, no problem. So keep in mind, standard messaging is part of the 24 hour plus one window. The plus one is, ref is, is especially in ManyChat, is referenced to as a follow-up message. Just keep that in mind. So Facebook in the documentation tells you businesses and developers using the Send API have 24 hours to respond to a message sent by a person in Messenger who's use when, st when using standard messaging. That makes perfect sense. A bot may also send one additional message after 24-hour time limit has expired. So that's your plus one your follow-up message, which is still considered a standard message. The 24 hour limit is refreshed each time a person responds to a business through one of the eligible actions listed in the messenger conversation entry points. I did a separate video about the conversation entry point, so I'm not gonna dive in to that right now. So just want you to know that standard messaging is included. Standard messaging is used in the 24 hour window and the plus one. Now we have sponsored messaging, Sponsored messaging is used, as far as I mentioned, it just adds. Sponsored messaging is used to send promotional messages 24 seven to your subscribers, to your website custom audiences. Now, there is an option to send messages to your subscribers 24 seven, but these messages should not contain any commercial updates, any commercial messages, simple as that. So outside of the 24 hour plus one window, you can still send messages to your subscribers, but these messages should be considered as subscription messages. Subscription messages, I'm gonna go here, subscription messaging, subscription messages should not contain any promotional updates. If you want to send promotional updates to your subscribers outside of the 24 hour plus one window, you should use sponsored messaging. Simple as that. Now, with subscription messaging, we need to be aware of the following. Starting April 30th, 2019, a page must be approved with the page level subscription messaging feature in order to use the broadcast API. But, and this is super important, there are different message tags. So when we send a subscription, when we want to send a non-promotional or when we want to send a subscription message to our users, we need to apply, a, <clears throat> sorry, we need to apply a message tag to our message. And I'm going to show you in a little bit how that can be done in ManyChat. So when we want to send a message to our subscribers outside of the 24 hour plus one window, and this message is a non-promotional message, it automatically will be considered a subscription broadcast, a subscription message, however you want to pronounce it. Now, if you want to, if you want to apply the non-promotional subscription message tag to your message, your page needs to be approved with the page level subscription messaging feature. And you can find this, you can, you, can, uh, you can get your page approved by going into page settings, 
messenger messenger settings and then go to advanced messenger uh, to go to advanced messenger settings i'll show you a little bit exactly how that works but that's the only reason why you would have to have your page approved for all the other 16 message tags you do not have to have your page uh, approved for subscription messaging so only if you want to use the non-promotional subscription message tag now when do you need the non-promotional subscription message tag for messages that are related to news, productivity, or personal trackers. And keep a good eye on these use cases because these use cases will tell you what type of messages actually fit this tag. So if, you, if your page, your company, whatever, is going to send messages um, with the purpose to inform people about recent or important events or provide information in categories such as sports, finance, business, real estate, weather, traffic, politics, blah, 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 all that, then you need to, then you need to use the non-promotional subscription message tag in your broadcast messages. And when you want to use the non-promotional subscription broadcast message tag, <laughs> Your page must be approved with the page level, page level subscription messaging. That's it. Or if you want to send messages in regards to, uh, if you want to send messages with the primary purpose to enable people to manage their personal productivity with tasks such as managing calendar events, receiving reminders and paying bills. Or if your page is going to send messages that enable people to receive and monitor information about themselves in categories such as fitness, health, wellness, and finance. That is the only way, only reason, guys, why you want to have, why you need to have the non-promotional subscription message tag. You need to apply the non-promotional subscription message tag. And in order to use that tag, your page should be eligible or at least approved with the page level subscription messaging feature. And you can find that in uh, the page settings, go to page settings, messenger platform and advanced messaging features. And then you just go through a wizard there. Now, if you're not going to use, are not going to send any messages related to news, productivity, or personal trackers, you can apply one of the 16 other message tags. Now, what I want to show you here is this is ManyChat, obviously, and uh, you go to broadcasts broadcasts you're going to create a new broadcast you're going to go to settings and this is what you will see so this is a new up this is an update so it depends how long you've been working manager this might be completely new for you or um, this might look like hey this looked different before <clears throat> doesn't really matter this is what we have to work with now now they didn't make it super clear so that's why I'm going to walk you through so as you can see here we can select so many should ask you, please select the type of content that you broadcast fits into. Okay, so the subscriptional, subscriptional content and the non-promotional content are both considered subscription messages. These type of messages can be sent 24 seven. These are not the standard messages like we saw, like I just uh, explained uh, the standard messaging that is sent 24 hours within the 24 hour window or the plus one. So just keep that in mind. So a subscriptional content, you can see here, we're not able to apply a tag because when we want to uh, send subscriptional content in this, how this is set up, how this is laid out, Facebook limits subscription content to three non-promotional use cases. If content does not match descriptions of the above, consider types of broadcast below. So keep in mind that ManyChat deliver, I would have done it different, let that be said, but um, this is something we got to work with. So keep in mind, subscriptional broadcast is in this scenario is only for news productivity and personal trackers. Great. Now, non-promotional content can be sent, which is still uh, subscription messaging. So keep in mind, subscription messaging cannot contain any promotional materials material and should fit one of the 17 message tags now if your message does not fit one of these tags it is not 
eligible to be sent as a subscription broadcast. If it doesn't fit one of these message tags, it should not be sent. I repeat, it should not be sent as non-promotional content because abuse of the message tags is considered a violation of terms and service. So, <clears throat> and I said this, I've been saying this for a long time already, bait and switch, sending somebody a message outside of the 24 hour plus one window with the idea that if they interact with that message, the 24 hour plus one window resets, that's BS, that's bullshit. That is exactly what this is about. That counters this. So think about it. If your message, if your subscribers are not eligible to receive a plus one, the follow-up message, as you can see here, I can send promotional content to no one. This means in my subscription list, in my mess, in my, uh, the people who are subscribed to my page, nobody interacted in the last 24 hours. Nobody interacted in the last 24 hours. So my 24 hour window is closed. You can see here, promotional content, nobody fits this. Okay, great. Now <clears throat> I have my follow-up message, my plus one. And to be honest, I don't understand why ManyChat doesn't give you better directions that this is follow-up plus one or that there is that there at least is a is a is a is a link to the plus one for us to understand. But that's why I'm here to help you guys. So the follow-up, as you can see here, now I'm eligible 24 users, 24 subscribers on my list are eligible to receive a follow-up message. A follow-up message is a standard message. A standard message can contain promotional content, but I would not use your follow-up message to send promotional content. Use your follow-up message to engage because when somebody engages, interacts with your follow-up message, the 24 hour plus one window is reset, and then you can start the conversation from there. You re-engage them using your plus one. Now, that said, let's say you don't have any follow-ups. You want to send, uh, you want to send, you want to reach all your subscribers. Huh? So, for example, I can send a subscription broadcast to all my people here. But if my subscription broadcast, um, if my subscription broadcast contains, if my subscription broadcast doesn't fit any of these message tags, I should not send that broadcast. I just shouldn't do it. And this is why a lot of messenger markers got in trouble because what they did, they're like, hey, okay, so I don't have a follow-up available. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna send a message to, uh, to, to all my subscribers with whatever kind of question. And when they then interact with that question, they reset the 24 hour plus one window. That is bullshit. That's not how it works. And I've said that all along. And this is now how Facebook is, is narrowing down on this because when we want to send follow-up messages, subscription broadcast messages, the message should fit one of these tags. And sending a random message in order to re-engage somebody that is most likely not going to fit one of these message tags. Simple as that. So be aware of that. If you send random messages and you apply, apply just whatever a tag, you are violating terms of service and that will get you in trouble sooner or later. Just wanna show you the actual message tags here. So you got here the develop, uh, developers.facebook.com, messenger platform, message tags, whatever. Um, and then you got a list of all the message tags here. And with the message tags, you have the allowed use cases. Make sure you read this and understand what the actual use cases are per message tag. As you can see here, this is the non-promotional subscription message tag. Uh, for example, account update, notify the message recipient of a change to their account settings or an application update or pairing, whatever, it's everything. Just make sure you understand the use cases. If your message, let me go back. If your message, your subscriptional broadcast content or the non-promotional content, my expectation is, is that the majority of us 
are going to use the non-promotional content, which is part, which is a subscription broadcast. It can be sent 24 seven as long as it fits one of these tags. Now you just need to make sure that you understand the use cases that are connected to these tags and you can find them right here. Again, if the message you want to send doesn't fit one of these tags, the only thing you can do, I've got a couple things you can do. You can run sponsored messaging because when somebody interacts with a sponsored message, they reset the 24 hour plus one window. That's one. And with sponsored messaging, you can also obviously send sponsored messaging 24 seven and um, that enables you to reach everybody on your list. The other option would be, and we have a separate video for that. The other option would be to re-engage your subscribers through one of the eligible entry points and eligible entry points are the scenarios where a user or a subscriber reaches out to you and they can reach out to you. They can send a message to your page through, let's say they click on a ref URL in email or they send a message to your page because they have a question. They send a message to your page through the, let's say the messenger chat on your website, or they send a message to your page through the call to action on your Facebook page. Those are all eligible entry points and an eligible entry point, the, um, uh, the initiative to re-engage is always with the subscriber. So you can re-engage your subscribers with a non-promotional uh, broadcast, but it should fit one of the tags. If, they re if the user engages with, with one of the tags, they're re-engaged. Uh, you can re-engage your users with sponsored messaging, or you can re-engage your user with a follow-up to plus one message. When you send your plus one message, that's it, you're done. That is when you should use the eligible entry points or sponsored messaging or a non-promotional message tag. I hope this makes sense. It's a lot of information, but please do make sure you get your head around this. And if you've got any questions, please reach out. Most important is this page, understand that this, understand what the supported tags are and understand allowed use cases, understand that you can send those messages 24 seven if you are sending messages in regards to news, productivity, and personal trackers, you need to get your page approved. You don't have to get your page approved if you're going to send all of the other message tags. And that's about it. Just be smart about it and play by the rules. Use these rules, work with these rules instead of against these rules because it's going to get you in trouble sooner than later. Um, use your follow up, use your plus one to re-engage your users, ask binary questions and don't try to sell using your plus one because when you use your plus one, it's done. Somebody doesn't engage with it. There's not much you can do. Then you're not allowed to send any standard messaging to your users. And that is when you have to fall back on subscription messaging, whether it's the subscriptional content or the non-promotional content or you have to go to sponsored messaging. For the sponsored messaging, we have a separate video and for the 24 hour plus one rule plus the eligible entry points, we have separate videos. So make sure you check out those. If you get any questions in regards to uh, subscription broadcast messaging, message tag, eligible use cases, etc., make sure you send me a message and I'll be happy to answer them.